Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's jump right into it. In today's video you will find out how the price of Bitcoin has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. By taking a closer look at the hourly time frame for Bitcoin, the price went down only slight by about 0.2% in the last 24 hours and has a current price of 6,650. Jumping to the hourly simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 100 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 100 SMA which is currently at 6,451 it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 6,655 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. For longer price development, the daily time frames should also be considered as the shorter time frames are not as accurate. On the lookout for divergences in the hourly time frame, owing to the bearish divergence, the price has already gone down. Moving to the hourly stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, which means the current trend is to the upside. Looking at the hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line but it's expected for the price to remain the same for some time because the MACD histogram shows that the momentum at the moment is shifting upwards. You should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Jumping to the three hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 50 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 6,379 it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 6,658 could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Looking at the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region, which means that the price is getting oversold and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. The trend has shifted upwards because the K line is currently located above the D line. Jumping to the three hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. The momentum is currently indecisive, according to the MACD histogram. This means you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish, due to the expected shifting momentum. Jumping to the daily simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 20 and the 100 SMA. If the price bounces off the 20 SMA which is currently at 6,564 it could be seen as a support and the 100 SMA that is at 8,234 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Jumping to the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are currently very high, which means that the price is overbought and a trend change or at least consolidation for some time is to be expected. Despite this, the K line has yet to cross the D line, so patience should be exercised until you see if the trend will in fact go down. Moving to the daily MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.